The man who will one day be king today turns 40. His face embossed on a newly minted five pound coin released to commemorate the day. And within an increasingly frail queen, William is already taking on more royal duties. The Cambridges center stage at the Jubilee celebrations, along with their cheeky children too, who somewhat stole the show. But we're also seeing William at more sober events, like the state opening of Parliament last month, when the Queen could not be there. I was in fact in attendance, William next to his father, Prince Charles, looking stern and serious and ready to serve. Through the last four decades, we've watched this prince's progress. From the moment he was introduced to the world, to the charming schoolboy, then student at university where he met his future wife, hotshot helicopter pilot, and now a middle-aged dad of three, posting this family snap on Father's Day. But today, no doubt, he will also reflect on those not here. He wants to keep the memory of his mother, Princess Diana, alive, and he can see ways of doing that, particularly by promoting the issues that she cared for. His passion for helping the homeless stemmed from Diana. Homelessness has always stuck with me as a topic and as an issue I want to fight for. Just last week, he was spotted in central London quietly helping to sell copies of a magazine sold by the homeless, a magazine that this week features him on its cover. His father, too, a great influence, William's passion for saving the environment coming directly from Charles. Ours is a common mission. It means ensuring the brightest and boldest amongst us in all sectors of society are given the support to find the answers to the most important question we face, how to repair our planet. But he also wants to make his own mark and modernize the monarchy to ensure its survival in the 21st century. And in a changing world, there are tremendous challenges ahead. There was that misjudged trip to the Caribbean in March this year. But even then, amidst protests and negative headlines, we did get a glimpse of his modern approach. I want to say this. We support with pride and respect your decisions about your future. Relationships evolve. Friendship endures. And sadly, the relationship with his brother Harry remains strained. Unthinkable that they wouldn't be celebrating today together when you look at them as kids or consider what they've endured together from the trauma of their mother's tragic death to the more recent joy of being side by side for their weddings how things have changed. But those challenges aside, William has slowly but surely improved his public image, seen now as modern and forward-looking, yet delivering on his duty in an understated way. Happy birthday, Your Royal Highness. Well, you talked about William's vision to modernize the monarchy, so what would that actually look like in the years ahead? I think, Savannah, there's two parts to it. The domestic question, which he's been pretty clear about, either leaking to people or stating outright, needs slimlining. So fewer official members of the royal family, fewer titles, and therefore fewer people getting government funding. And I actually think that even if that seems like taking away from some of his extended family, even they might welcome that down the line. Just think we wouldn't have had that whole debate about what jobs Harry and Meghan can take if they hadn't had those official roles in the first place. On the international side, much, much more complicated. I don't think anyone will have the same appeal uh, that Her Majesty the Queen does internationally at the moment. When William becomes king, unlikely he'll still be head of state of 15 foreign countries like the Queen is today. Interestingly, though, at the end of that trip he made to the Caribbean, he said he only wanted to be head of state where he's wanted. And that sort of forward-looking tone, I think, will endear him, at least in this country, for a long time. All right. Well, big day over there. Wilfred, thank you. Good to see you. Appreciate Mm it. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.